What the hell am I watching? Jeez, I was watching an, an old childhood song talking about wheels rotating because today we're doing rotations. That was corny. I should have done that. I, I feel bad now. Anyway, what is a rotation? A rotation is just a transformation where a figure is turned around a given point. Okay? And there's two important things for every rotation. The center of rotation, that's where you're rotating around, and what direction you're going to be rotating in, and how much. So there's really like four main rotations we're going to be talking about. And everything usually goes counterclockwise. All right? So the main thing that we're going to be talking about is counterclockwise rotations. So for example, we have this arrow, right? We're going to rotate it around point A. So our center of rotation here is point A. Important to specify that. And the direction that we are going to be rotating it is counter clockwise. That is the natural way things turn in mathematics. All right. Now, each one of these is this arrow after a certain amount of rotation, right? And we're just going to mark off how much we have to rotate this arrow to get each of these arrows. So let's start by rotating, okay? We're gonna just rotate our arrow over here around point A. And every time I rotate it by its side, that's a 90 degree rotation. So when I rotate it to the side like that, okay? When it goes from here to here, that is a 90 degree rotation. All right, and so if you see these two look the same, so that is a 90 degree rotation, all right? Now let's start it back from the beginning. Let's rotate it around A, but let's do it twice this time. So that's 90, and then that's 180 degrees. So this triangle now, I mean, this arrow looks like this. That is this after 180 degree rotation, right? We just rotated 180 degrees. All right, we're going counterclockwise. Now let's rotate it again. This time let's go three. So it's one, that's 90, that's two, that's 180, and three, that is 270. And if you notice, it looks like this guy. So that is what a 270 degree rotation will look like. So those are the main ones we're going to be talking about today. 90, 180, and 270. Now 360 just ends up right back where it started. All right. So remember, 90, 180, 270. Counterclockwise is the natural way of doing it, but sometimes you do clockwise. So let's start off with the off the grid this time, all right? Usually we go on the grid. Today we're going to do off the grid, all right? We want to describe a rotation that maps ABC, triangle ABC, onto CEF, all right? So we want to rotate this around so it maps over CFE. Now the way we're going to do that is literally just figuring out what's the center of rotation. That's our first point, the thing to worry about. And this is going to be our center of rotation. We want to rotate from C, all right? Then we've got to figure out how much to rotate it. So we're going to rotate it, let's see, one turn is 90, all right, it's not there, and two terms is 180. So if you notice here, we had to turn it two times, and what I mean by that is, look, if you took your paper and you rotated it one time like this, and you put it to the side, that'd be 90 degree rotation, but we got to do that twice, and that gives us 180 degree rotation. So the way to map ABC onto CEF, well, that is a rotation of 180 degrees counterclockwise, we're just going to say CC, around point C, and don't worry about that, all right? So a rotation of 180 degrees counterclockwise around point C. That's how we map these over each other. So remember, there's two things that you really be concerned with. One, the center of rotation, which is clearly C here, all right? That's where you're going to be pivoting it. And two, how much you are going to turn it. Got it? Let's try this again, okay? Now, you might be saying, what do I do? I can't turn things because I don't have that special thing that you have. Well, figure it out. No, we really do kind of have to eyeball it. So we want to describe a rotation that maps W, X, Z, Y, that rectangle, so that's the, this guy right here, onto M, N, O, Z. So like I said, first start by figuring out your center of rotation. Where are we going to rotate this around? We need a point. Well, I think a good place to do where our hinge should be is right over here, point Z, right? Let's put our rotation right there, all right? Now we got to figure out how much to rotate it. So let's start with just rotating this 90, so it's just one turn, and... That's 90 degree, and look, it maps right on top of it. So 
the way to do it, the transformation is a rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise around and don't ever forget to put your point. Point. Well, which point did we choose again? Did you forget? Did I forget? Let's see. That was around. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, it was point Z. It was point Z. Around point Z. All right. So the direction it went in and where we rotated around. Those are the two things that you really got to be concerned with. Um, all right. Nope. Nope. Wrong. Ah, whatever. I give up. All right. Let's move on. So for these, I'm going to do it live. So I'm going to cut out for a second and do these in a live way. All right, we're going to do a bit of live stuff here. Don't usually do this. Let's give it a shot. It's a cool technique that we're going to learn for rotations. It makes things way easier. So for these, we're going to rotate 90, 180, and 270 degrees around the origin. So our center of rotation is always around the origin. We don't have to worry about that. The big thing is how many degrees we're, we're rotating. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You pick which way is your favorite for each one of these. So for the first one, we're going to rotate ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. And then we're going to state the coordinates of ABC and A prime, B prime, C prime. The first step to doing this is write down your original coordinates. So A is 2, 4, B is 2, 1, and C is 7, 1. All right? Now the way you do a rotation is to literally just rotate your paper. So we're going to rotate our paper. You take it and you rotate it 90 degrees. So that means you just turn it once, all right? So I'm turning counterclockwise once. That's it, that's a 90 degree rotation, one turn. Now, if you look here, this is what a triangle would look like after a 90 degree rotation. So what you're gonna do is just this. We're gonna switch her and we're gonna pretend this is our X axis and this is our Y and we're just gonna write down the points here, all right? So what are our points now? Well. Let's write down A prime, B prime, and C prime. Let's write down nice and clear there. And we're just gonna take these down, write them on wherever you want. So A prime, we're just gonna count is negative one, two, three, four, positive two. So A prime is at negative four, two. B prime is at negative one, positive two. And C prime is at negative one, positive one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we just got our new coordinates. Let's copy that into our over here. So it's negative four, two, negative one, two, and negative one, seven. So that's the first technique. You literally just rotate your paper nine degrees and recopy your coordinates. So what are your new coordinates now? Now there's also a rule. You might realize here that two, four becomes negative four, two. Two, one becomes negative one, two and 7, 1 becomes negative 1, 7. I want you to take a second and try to see if you can figure out the pattern. All right, pause the video. Well, if you figured out that pattern, what the rule is, or maybe you remember this, if you take your x, y coordinate and you switch them, so we put y first and then x, so 2, 4 becomes 4, 2, and then you change the sign of y. All right, so it's negative y, x. So you just switch them and change the sign of y. Does that make sense? So 2, 4 becomes negative 4, 2. 2, 1 becomes 1, 2. Change the 1. And 7, 1 becomes 1, 7. Change the 1. That's changing the y. Got it? All right, let's try another example. We're going to rotate 180 now. So 180 degrees, we're going to rotate DEF 180 degrees counterclockwise around the order, origin. All right? State the coordinates of DEF and D prime, E prime, and F prime. All right, so we got our triangle here, D, E, F, and here are your coordinates, negative two, two, negative five, negative seven, and negative two, negative seven. So once again, to do 180 degrees, all you have to do is turn your paper literally 180 degrees. So now instead of turning it once, which is nine degrees, 180 degrees is two turns, all right? So it's one, that's one turn, and then two. Basically, it's upside down, okay? So now we're just gonna record our coordinates again. So let's write them down, okay? We got D prime, E prime, and F prime, all right? And let's write what they are. So D now became positive two, positive two. So over two, up two, okay? E prime became one, two, three, four, five, positive five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So positive 5, positive 7. And f prime became, let's see, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Became positive 2, 7. All right, so let's turn it back now. All right, and let's copy our coordinates. So d prime became 2, 2. e prime became 5, 7. And f prime became 2, 7. Got it? So can you see the pattern here? See if you can pause the video and come up with a rule. OK, well, I'll tell you. For a 180 degree rotation, all right, if you figure this out, all you have to do is just change the values of the x and y. So positive x, positive y becomes negative x, negative y, all right? And negative x, negative y becomes positive x, positive y. So we just negate the values of the x and y. That's the rule. Or you could just do two turns, all right? So this, let's put this a note down, two turns. This is one turn. All right, for 270, all right? Same thing for 270 now. So 90 degrees is one turn, 180 is two turns. To do 270, once again, you write down your points. We have HTC written down here. And now you're gonna turn your paper three turns. One, two, and three. All right, that's three turns. And now let's write down our points again, okay? So we have H prime, T prime, and P prime, all right? And we're just gonna write them down. So H prime became negative one, negative two. And then it goes down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's negative two, negative eight. T prime became negative two, let's see, and then down one, two, three. So it's negative two, negative three. And P prime became one, two, three, four, five, negative five, and then down three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it became negative five, negative eight. All right, we're gonna copy that down over here. Okay, so H, negative two, negative eight. T, let's see, that is negative two, negative three. And P is negative five, negative eight. See if you can come up with a rule here. Well, once again, it's okay to rotate your paper. That's a fine way to do it. But if you want to know the rule, what you do is you switch them again. So eight, negative two, you switch them, becomes negative two, negative eight. So it switches them. And this time, instead of changing the Y, we change the X. So this becomes Y negative X. So you see, you switch them. The negative two stays the same, but this time we change the value of X. So positive eight becomes negative eight. All right, that's it for your live lesson. Hope that helped. And the final thing I want to say about this lesson, counterclockwise versus clockwise. Now, for 90 degrees, all right, we found out that it, that is a negative y, x for our rule. For 180 degrees, we found out that was negative x, negative y. And for 270 degrees, all right, we found out that was I put an X there. That should be a Y, okay? Make sure you put a Y there. And we found out that was Y negative X. Those are our rules. But I want to show you something just in case you get stuck on these clockwise. That's all counterclockwise rotations. But look, I want to show you this. A 90 degree counterclockwise turn, which turns it to the left, is the same as going, well, let's go, clockwise 90, 180, 270. So if I turn it three times to 270, but in the clockwise, that's the same thing. So a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation is the same thing as a 270 degree clockwise rotation. Does that make sense? This 90 degrees is the same thing as going this way 270 degrees. Now for 180, well, if I go 180 degrees counterclockwise, that's two turns, that's the same thing as going two turns the other way. Right, 180 degrees clockwise. So a counterclockwise and a clockwise turn of 180 is the same. And finally, when I go 270 degrees, so that's one, two, three turns counterclockwise, that is the same as turning it 90 degrees clockwise. So if I go from here to here 90 degrees in a clockwise, that's the same as going 270 counterclockwise. All right? 
So your rules are all the same here. So 90 degrees counterclockwise is the same as going clockwise to 7 degrees. And that's a good little reference for you. All right. Good luck.